Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Helping Businesses Thrive. In this week's episode, we're going to be looking at one of the most popular questions we get as accountants, but not many people would suspect we get this question. And that question is, what is the best business book you recommend for small business owners? So what I've done is I've compiled a list of my... school but what I do love doing is listening to audiobooks and then I tend to buy the book the physical book if it's a really good listen I'll listen again for a second time and I'll read as I listen or I'll use that book as a bit of a reference book so I'll like st- scribble some notes in scribble my thoughts highlight certain sections so it's more like a textbook than it is a book so over the last four or five years I've read and listened to a lot of business books Some have been absolutely awful. Some tell you they're going to answer this big question and they never do. And others have been absolutely fantastic. Some really core thoughts come from them and some really key decisions I've made in my business career due to reading and listening to these books. So I'm going to take you through today my top five business books for small business owners. These books are ideal if you're starting out or if you're looking for a bit of inspiration just to get you kick-started and really motivate you into 2022. So let's start with number five, like all good countdowns do. At number five, my fa- one of my favourite books is They Ask, You Answer. This book was written by Marcus Sheridan. Uh, basically, it talks about how he discovered the, uh, the ethos of They Ask, You Answer. And it's all about marketing and growing your client base and outcompeting your competitors because you have the confidence to give the answers to your customers that they're looking for. How many times have you looked to buy something and you've tried to Google an, an, a question about a product that you're looking to buy to see if it can do something, etc. which product's the right product for you? Now there's a lot of this on YouTube now, whereas 10 years ago there was nothing of this. So this book really got me thinking about how we write our blogs. How do we talk to our customers? How do we answer their questions? Are we like traditional accountants who treat accounting and bookkeeping like black magic? Do we kind of go, "Mm, we'll give you a roundabout answer, but we won't actually tell you how we do this because we're worried that you might try and do it yourself. So it basically gave us the ability to have the confidence to generate good, open, honest content that answered the customer's questions. And in turn, it generated a lot of input for us for our website, our blogs, our YouTube videos like this. Even this YouTube video has been inspired by They Ask You Answer. A customer asked us, what our recommendation is for the top business book they should read as they start their business. We thought about it and we're now producing this content so that other customers can see this content. People that know, even our customers will see this content and they'll be able to go out, buy these books and get the insight they're looking for. So that's number five. They Ask, You Answer by Marcus Sheridan. I'm gonna link all these books up into the description for you. So you can get them via Amazon. Um, the bonus of doing it on Amazon is you get your Kindle version, your audiobook, and your physical cover. If you want to support a local bookstore and go pick up the books from there, fantastic. I normally get my audiobooks from Amazon and then I pop down to the local Portobello bookstore, which is where I live in Edinburgh. Uh, small, independent, lovely, award-winning bookstore. I pop down there and I get my books physically from there. If they've not got them in stock, I ask them to order them in and they're normally there in a couple of days. So I'll get all the links low, linked up down below for you to be able to make your purchases or at least have a look at what you're, what I'm talking about. Book number four. 
Book number four is becoming a legend in its own right. It's called The E-Myth. It's written by Michael Gerber. And it's all about modernising your approach to business. If you have a read of this before or a listen to this before you start your business, it will help you start your business on the right track. The book is all about getting rid of the myths and the theories and the scare tactics around starting your own business. It tells you why most businesses won't work, why most businesses don't work, and how you can overcome that so your business will work. Again, this book, the audio is actually done by Michael Gerber, as it was uh, in all my books I recommend. The audio versions are narrated by the author. There's a couple of reasons I like that. One, I feel like I'm listening to the author and the author's talking to me directly. Uh, you don't always get that in a, by reading a book. The second reason I love an audiobook narrated by the author of the book, it means I can actually get some extra content because when the author's reading the book to you, they tend to go on little tangents and give you extra content. Like they give you, oh, this is where this story came from. And you just get insights to the book you won't get from them paying some random person to narrate their audiobook. So if you're looking at business books and the narrator is the author themselves, you can guarantee you're going to get a better value for money out of the audio version than you would if the narrator was just some random person they pay to narrate it. So definitely a top tip there for you. So book number three. Book number three and book number two are written by Mike McCollowitz. And Mike McCollowitz is an American author. He was a business owner. He's had his ups and his downs. But he's very good at giving us an image that we can all relate to and it explains a theory. So the first book is called The Pumpkin Plan. Now The Pumpkin Plan is a fantastic book. It's all about weeding out all the bits of things, all the services and stuff you're delivering for your business, all the products you're selling that are distracting from the main profit making business model. The Pumpkin Plan is all about how the analogy of how pumpkin farmers who are farming and competing to grow the biggest pumpkin weed out all the small or the sickly pumpkins in the field and divert all the resources to this one pumpkin. And the analogy is the same with your business of you take all these ideas that you have, all these products and services, but you identify the one that's the true money cow. Which one's going to bring in the profit? Which one's the most profitable, efficient, popular product? Ignore all the rest and focus on that. And that's the pumpkin plan. So Mike presents this himself again on Audible. So it's really, really good. And he's got lots of extra insight on his audibles. Mike McCullowitz is kind of the person that taught me go with a book that's narrated by the author because he is very good at giving you the extra value. And his passion for this, for his theories, uh, it comes through in his voice. So it's really easy to get sucked in yourself and go, yeah, this really works. This could work for me. And it gets you really thinking about what you can do and how you can apply this to your business. Because let's face it, how many people have listened to business books and haven't actually read, or uh, sorry, haven't actually finished reading or have brought a book and haven't even started reading, or they've brought a book, they've read it, and they've done nothing with it. They've taken no action. So another top tip, if you're gonna read a business book, make sure you take one action out of it, because that way you know you're getting value for money out of the business book, and it's worth reading or listening. So book number two on my list, another Mike McCallowitz book, as I said, it's called Profit First. And this is a fantastic book for when you're starting out it's all about re-engineering the way we look at money because if we look at money the way accountants look at money and your accounts look at money, you've got your income, then you've got your cost of sales, then you've got all your expenses and then at the bottom in a small little number is your profit. Mike McCallowitz in this book proposes you turn that around. You take your profit, That's you take how much money you want for your profit out first, then you take all the other stuff out and that tells you how much turnover you need. 
And if you can't get that much turnover, then it tells you to reduce the amount of outgoings, basically. And it talks about having separate bank accounts so you can move money into different bank accounts so you know you've got enough money for each thing at any time of the year. So that whether that's wages, your VAT, your corporation tax, your personal tax, whatever it is, you know you've got the money sat to one side to pay for it. And as every pound comes in, you divide it by those percentages and you put it into the bank accounts. So Profit First is a really, really good book. Really enjoyed it. So definitely worth having a listen to Mike's books and having a read through. It's one of those that you're probably going to need to listen to a couple of times. And I generally do with all my books. I try and listen to them a couple of times to make sure I've taken in, because you can often miss things. Uh, whether you're reading or listening, you can miss things, that you glaze over things, whereas you, and you go back a second time and you go, wow, that's a fantastic little fact to learn. Um, how did I miss that the first time? Recommended book for the uh, for small business owners. It's called Big Ideas for Small Businesses from a gentleman called John Lamberton. This, uh, John is a British author, British business owner, British business coach, um, and this book had got to have had one of the most profound impacts on me as a business owner. I listened to it very early on in 2017 when I was just starting out my businesses. And it really got me thinking about how I want to structure my business, how I want to look after my staff, how I want to run the business, the ethos, the morals, the ethics. Um, and it came up with all sorts of great advice and tips for me. It's so good that I actually listen to it on an annual basis just to remind me and refocus me on what I what I decided four years ago was going to be my big drive so it's definitely worth a listen it's another one that is narrated by John Lamberton if you buy the audiobook and it's very well broken down chapter wise into basically each chapter is a big idea you can apply to small businesses and it explains why, where he's got the idea from. Normally it's from bigger companies that he boiled it down and made it simpler for small businesses. So it's definitely worth a read or a listen. Um, I will be listening to it again shortly as it's coming up to a year since I last listened to it. I'll listen to it again and I'll probably come away with something new or I'll look at an idea with a different aspect, a different angle, with different experience um, and I'll apply it slightly differently going forwards. So it's a really good annual listen for me. I definitely recommend it as my top business book for small business owners that are starting out or in the first few years or they're at that point where they just need a bit of motivation, they need to rethink how they're doing things, they're looking for something to inspire them. Big Ideas for Small Businesses from John Lamberton, definitely the top book for you. So that's it, my top five books. We started off at number five with They Ask You Answer. Number four, The E-Myth. Number three, the Pumpkin Plan. Number two is Profit First. Number one, Big Ideas for Small Businesses. As I say, they're all linked in below in the descriptions. Have a quick look through. Get the audio books because they're all written by and narrated by their authors. So you know you're going to get that bonus content in there. Let me know how you get on with them. Let me know if you've got any thoughts. Have you already listened or read, to the, read them? If so, drop in the comments what you thought of those books. That would be great. And I look forward to seeing you all next week on the next episode. Of